down just a little bit. <laughs> There's an old saying here, a heat where everybody goes to retire and forgets to die. Yeah. He forgets to die. <laughs> well, I know. Somebody posted on Facebook not too long ago about their, um, their cremation plan. Yeah, Lee, Lee yeah. did, yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, and if you commit suicide, you can't be um, cremated. You have to be buried, buried for, five for five years. Yeah. So oh, in case there's any comeback. Oh! Yes. Yeah. Oh, and I, I started that thinking one. about that. I'm like, well, shit, because, you know, I want to be cremated because I don't want to no. take up space. Yeah. Exactly. And um, and I was just like, well, damn, I guess we have to start thinking about that. Well, we think about it because my family spread all over the place. And it's like, I don't even really want the ashes because he's going to have to go with the ashes. Yeah. I tell you what, though, the doctors here are really, really good at helping me. Are they? Yeah. Very oh, good. good. I just want my ashes here. We donated to the brewery and they can make me the batch. I mean, they're not doing it. Now that's not the way I heard that story. <laughs> well, we're in mixed company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, laughing, shaking the camera. All my Seattle friends are like so Ricky, on standby. The guy down from the brewery that's making our fence and did our door, yeah. he's the one that's welding all this oh, stuff really? together. So he's definitely welding. So now we know how come he's not like, you know, hurrying up. There yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't know. That's what he said. Mind, yeah. I don't know how they get these people. Oh, yeah. I mean, they we all. We teased them when we passed by. We told them. No good rest on this day. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we came up with our windows and somebody shouted louder than we did, so he had to leave us to go and have lunch yeah. and take his tools with him <laughs> and come back 24 <laughs> hours later. <laughs> Finish his job. Huh? Wow. <laughs> That's a rarity. Well, you know, I, I kind of feel like this area is kind of safer than, like, up there. You know, that, that that bothers me way up in there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what now uh, I talk to the geologist and he says down here this is all he Lots says this isn't going anywhere. No. no. Uh, yeah, we had people out here too, like these footers yeah. don't have to be half as deep as those. Because yeah. we get solid rock here. Oh yeah, there's more bedrock. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that hill on the left-hand side? Yeah, that hill just yeah. keeps sliding. You know, every every couple well, of years, they have to redo the road because of it. But look how steep they dug into it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, it probably didn't reinforce But if, it, if you look at the geology here, this hole here goes up a lot higher. Yeah. Look at the area. Sit there? I was going to sit on this. That's one thing about it. Okay. Good for you. Go ahead and hang your legs off this. Uh -uh. <laughs> you know those pictures of the mountain climbers that are on this slab of rock that hangs out and they're sitting on the oh edge? My I don't do that. Look at the poster. <laughs> or the ones that are hanging upside down from roof. The, the older I get, the more fearful I am of hanging well, my legs know, off the ledge. There was <laughs> one time I was I was taking some medication <laughs> that my doctor prescribed and. I would be standing on the edge here, leaning over to take photographs. I stopped that medication a bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> you were afraid it was going to make you do something well, stupid. Said, hey, it sounded like courage. <laughs> courage medication. Fearless. She was like a 13-year-old. A, a little too fearless. Yeah. yeah, a bit too fearless. Hey, but that was when I managed to go well, ziplining. 